Hello. Today I'd like to show you the way I make the picture with a mosaic made of eggshell. For the beginning I take a sheet of cardboard made of the box from a paper for Xerox copy. I check what the maximum diameter of the circle can be and draw at first the circle of maximum external diameter and then indent 3 centimeters how much we have here about 10 centimeters that is uh, we make uh, the circle 3 centimeters uh, less the radius of it and draw one more circle That's it. The workpiece is ready. Here I have one more workpiece and cut the internal circle out. I'm going to use it for patterning a picture on it using the technique of decoupage. That is why we don't cut it, but carefully with the help of a knife. It can be an office knife. We try to cut out the internal circle very carefully. And now it is falling out carefully. Got it. Here I cut a couple of millimeters off because we will cover it with clothes and its diameter will increase. And uh, it will not uh, uh, fit into the frame otherwise. That is why I cut a millimeter or two off. So the workpiece is ready. At first, I will work on the frame. To glue the mosaic onto it, I make a workpiece at first. For these edges not to be seen, I wind the remainders of decoupage cloth round it. The first colorful layer is used for decoupage. And the rest uh, two layers that we don't need for decoupage we use for wrapping. Maybe it is excessive, but I share my own experience with you, the way I was doing. Now with these stripes, stripes we've cut, uh, we are wrapping our base. I remind you that we do it for hiding the edges. We can use different kind of cardboard. Sometimes it can be more corrugated. So to get rid of the unsmooth edges of the cardboard, I do it. It is more laborious, of course, but I like the result more than if we glue directly onto cardboard. Now, when we have finished winding around the circle, I take the acrylic paint I don't need. It happens so that I bought the pearl paint I've tried and I don't like it. That is why I take regular paint of any color. Let it be the least commonly used purple one, for example. Add black acrylic paint. Add some water. A little bit. And a little of PVA glue. We will get such a dark mixture of paint and screw glue. And with this mixture we will ground our frame carefully. Наш, 
черный цвет выбран э, потому что I have chosen that на нем color because the bright eggshell mosaic looks better on it. Яичная мозаика. Пробовала на светлом, мне не понравилось. I've tried making it on a light background, but I don't like the result. On the black background, bright colors look more expressive. Очень We fail to put the pieces of egg shell very tightly. Кусочки этой яичной скорлупы уплотнять. Поэтому вот эти вот темные промежутки That is why these dark intervals between them make good contrast, as to my opinion. As well, pay attention while grounding the frayed to smoothen the edges of the stripes. Которые выступают, края наших полосочек. Их заглаживаю в обратную сторону. I smooth them down in the opposite direction to make the frame smooth. Равномерная рамочка. Вот у меня уже заготовленная скорлупа для яиц. Here is the eggshell I've prepared beforehand. I choose the colors I am going to use. Я буду пользоваться. Я хочу сделать осеннюю. I want to make such an autumn-like picture. Вот, например, как делать вот эту часть? Я ее покажу позже. Пока вот мы. I will show you how to make this part later. So far we are talking about the frame. Эту картинку и смотрю, какие цвета мне понадобятся для рамки. I take this picture and check which colors I will need for the frame. The frame will be very simple without any pattern on it. I just want to show you the basic principle of making it. As for patterns, each of you can combine the way you like. So, I will need yellow, green, I will add some grayish brown color and a little brown one. Our next step. After we have grounded the upper side, let it dry, then we will ground the lower side of the frame, and now the next step. Spread white glue onto the first surface generously, take the two sticks, Одной достаточно, пожалуй, будет. One will И be начнем enough. с яркого желтого. And start with bright yellow color. Take a piece of shell. As a rule, I put everything here inside and then use it. Take the first piece and this way we allocate the yellow spot. Распределяем. Слегка желтенькое пятнышко. Берем. Take some brown. We will get an abstract pattern. Some brown. Allocate it. Take some green. Without getting your hands dirty, you can use two toothpicks. This way. Some green, disobedient. Now write with a toothpick. Allocate it right on the place. Dipping into glue. And this way, dipping a toothpick into glue without any effort. We take pieces of eggshell and put them carefully next to each other. Друг возле дружки. Череду я получаю такой абстрактный. And we are getting such an abstract autumn pattern. С разными, как бы разные оттенки осенних. With different colors of autumn leaves. Получаю. Пока белый клей виден. The white glue is seen so far. But in about five minutes the glue will dry out and there will be bright spots on that surface. I have three work pieces like this already with different colors.
в первом больше желтого и коричневого, во втором мне захотелось добавить немного. In the first one there is more yellow and brown, in the second one I felt like adding some red, like the leaves of wild grapes. Больше постаралась и And here I've applied to some more efforts and made a kind of mimicking of oak leaves. All the three work pieces are made in the same way as I've shown you. Итак, рамочка у нас готова. Теперь нам нужно изготовить вот такую картинку. So the frame is ready. Now we have to make such a picture that we will put inside of the frame. With this we take the internal circle we have cut out. And we have to cover it with cloth. I have outlined the circle, made an indent, and cut out the circle with a diameter two and a half or three centimeters more. Now we have to cover the circle. What we do? We spread school glue on the edges generously. We have made the cuts for our form to be neat. And now this way carefully in one direction we glue it. And pull the glass densely. We glue the last piece and we get such a tightly covered circle. Now we take a piece of paper with a diameter a little less than our circle. Glue it. I have used the same paper on which I was ground in the frame. So there are some dark spots, but they will not interfere. Glue it carefully. Here we have failed a little. Let's cut the remainder. Грунтуем нашу заготовку смесью. Prime the work piece with a mixture of water, white acrylic paint and PVA For making a mosaic of eggshell, we have to prepare the shell in the proper way. I have washed the eggs beforehand. Now I break them carefully. And while they are still wet, I have to treat them right away. I wash the shell in water. And take the internal envelope off. It is very important. As a rule, where it has uh, gotten wet, I try to take it off carefully. I fail to take it all off. In this case, I scrape the rest of the envelope off carefully with the help of my finger. If we leave it for a while, it will dry, it will dry to shell and it will be much more laborious to deal with it. So, if there is no opportunity to treat the shell right away, you have to soak it in water and then, when you have spare time, it is better to do it on the same day because otherwise it will start smelling if you leave it in water for some days. Scrape the rest of the envelope off. Wash it carefully. 
Without envelope it is fragile, so we have to be careful. And leave it to dry. Repeat the same here. It is clearly seen that it is easier to take uh, the envelope in the place where the shell has gotten broken. We take and carefully pull it trying to leave it intact. In this case we can take it off as a whole. Here we managed to take it off successfully, wash it and leave it dry. Here is the shell that has uh, dried out already. In winter I leave it next to the radiator. In summer it gets dried out in the sun. It dries out within 24 hours. After it we can paint it already. We use such acrylic paints. But these ones are rather expensive, that is why recently I've started using the building paint or school pearl acrylic paints. I mix them with acrylic paint or with these building paints, the bright ones, and combine them in different ways. Here they are painted and uh, um, dried ready for work. Так наша основа высохла, загрунтованная. Вот с обратной стороны она так выглядит. So the base which I've primed has dried out. It is the way it looks from the opposite side. Now we take the pattern from the cloth we have cut out in the shape of circle. It is three layered cloth, so we divide two layers and the third one will be used for decoupage. We are familiar with the technique. We mix the school glue half and half with water and from the center carefully cover in the previous stroke. Stretching it out a little. We spread the mixture. Try to avoid folds. Or at least to get them as few as possible. We have decoupaged it. Here we have got such a small hole. When it dries out, you can paint it a little with acrylic paint. Wait for it to dry out. After the item has dried out, we fit the circle into the frame, cut out the circle from paper a little less than the diameter of the frame, Glue it. Don't forget to put in carefully a rope that will hold the picture on the nail. Leave it under the press for the night because the card will bend in spite of many layers of priming. That is why I leave it for the night under the press. In the morning I have covered it with varnish. It has dried out and we have got such a picture.